So there's this, or if you go online and Google like Black Rock Vanguard, you'll find all these people going, fucking Black Rock and Vanguard, they're the most twisted, you know, blah, because they own 8% of all companies or whatever it is, um, which just shows that people don't understand what they do. Because Black Rock is just, like you said, Vanguard gives million, tens of millions of people the ability to buy shares in, and the S&P 500 is, you know, the 500 biggest shares in America. So you might have 10 grand and you use your Vanguard account to put 10 grand into 500 American shares. It's a brilliant invention. You guys know about it. It's great. So if you, if you add up all the people who are doing that in the world, they've got billions and billions and billions. It's actually Vanguard's like $9 trillion or whatever it is. But people who don't understand that at all, and I've seen people on the streets of the city in London, like outside their office going, fucking black rock, like tying them, you know, sign themselves. It's like, dude, you literally don't understand what these people do. Like what these people do, they don't, they don't, all that, all those trillions of pounds, there's nobody at Black, uh, uh, Black Rock going, I'm going to support the oil industry with this money. I'm going to decide to put X billion into Shell or BP. It's not doing that. They're just a mechanism for millions of people to have a little bit of Shell or BP an if they want to. vehicle. Yeah, and if it, exactly. And it's like, it's just tragic that people have such a poor understanding of what that actually is. They can't even but get it. Because there's a narrative they're evil. Yeah, well, it's They're like coming for you. But it's like, it's like <laughs> things like um, what well, the COVID thing. One of the things is Bill Gates has got six hundred million dollars invested in healthcare companies, for example. Yeah, okay. Let's just keep the maths easy. Let's say he's worth a hundred billion dollars. That means he's got 06 percent of his NAV in healthcare companies. Healthcare companies are like twenty five percent of the stock market. So he's actually fifty times underweight healthcare companies. So you're saying he's got $600 million in healthcare companies. It must be a conspiracy. It's like, no, dude, he's got a 50th of what he should have in healthcare companies if he just was in line with the market. And it's all this stuff like people just don't realise how little, that they just don't fucking understand what they're talking about and then they have strong opinions. It's the information. Yeah, 